In the previous videos, we traced the evolution of NPCs from simple scripted characters to more dynamic entities using finite state machines. In this video, we are exploring behavior trees. This technology transformed game AI, allowing NPCs to make complex decisions, prioritize goals and adapt to almost any situation the player might create. By the mid-2000s, games were becoming increasingly complex and open-ended. Players expected NPCs to navigate intricate environments and respond intelligently to a growing range of interactions. While finite state machines had served developers well, their limitations were becoming increasingly apparent. State explosion made complex behaviors difficult to manage. As developers added more states and transitions, finite state machines became unwieldy, hard to debug and inefficient. Finite state machines struggled with parallel behaviors. When NPCs needed to handle multiple considerations simultaneously like fighting while seeking cover or fleeing while remaining aware of threats, finite state machines became tangled webs of interconnected states. Edge cases often led to bizarre behavior. When encountering unexpected scenarios, finite state machines would sometimes get stuck in inappropriate states or transition erratically between them. Developers needed something more modular, hierarchical and easier to maintain. Enter behavior trees. Unlike finite state machines which focus on states and transitions, Behavior trees organize AI decision making as a hierarchical tree of tasks and conditions. Let's break down how they work. A behavior tree starts with a root node and branches out into child nodes representing different tasks, conditions and actions. Nodes are processed from left to right, with execution following down the tree based on success or failure of each node. The key components include selector nodes, sequence nodes, decorator nodes, and leaf nodes. This structure created a more organized approach to complex decision making, allowing developers to build sophisticated AI in a manageable way. Behavior trees truly entered the mainstream with Halo 2 in 2004. Bungie needed their AI to handle complex combat scenarios across varied environments. Their implementation allowed enemies to evaluate multiple tactical options, coordinate with allies and respond to changing battlefield conditions. This created the 30 seconds of fun loop that made Halo's combat so compelling. But perhaps the most famous implementation came with Grand Theft Auto V in 2013. Rockstar created a living city filled with civilians and police that responded realistically to player actions. Pedestrians would flee from danger, call the police or even fight back based on their individual characteristics, all orchestrated through sophisticated behavior trees. Let's look at a practical example in Unreal Engine using the same maze scenario from our previous video. Here we have the player navigating through the same maze, but this time our NPCs are powered by behavior trees instead of finite state machines. Let's see what happens when the player encounters the first NPC. Just like in our finite state machine example, when the NPC spots the player it responds. But the difference is in how the decision making happens. With the behavior tree, the NPC does not simply transition from idle to alert state. Instead, the tree evaluates a series of conditions and priorities. The servers on the selector node of the tree first checks if the NPC can see the player. When this condition returns true, it flows to a combat selector node, which in turn evaluates several possible actions, attack or reload. In this case, the NPC determines attacking is the highest priority and begins firing at the player. This forces the player to take the right turn, just like in our previous example. Now watch what happens when the NPC loses sight of the player. 
unlike the finite state machine that would simply transition to a search state, the servers on the selector node of the tree check if the NPC lost sight of the player. If this is true, the behavior tree will transition to search. When the second NPC spots the player, instead of just transitioning to an alerted state, the servers on the selector node of the tree first checks if the NPC can see the player. When this condition returns true, it flows to a combat selector node, which in turn evaluates several possible actions, attack or reload. Now watch what happens when it runs out of ammunition. In the finite state machine example, this triggered a direct transition to a reload state. The servers on the selector node of the tree first checks if the NPC is out of ammo. When this condition returns true, it flows to a combat selector node, which in turn selects to reload. This creates the same opening for the player to bolt for the exit. But look what happens next. If the player hesitates, the NPC completes its reload sequence and then re-evaluates the entire situation through its behavior tree. It does not just blindly return to firing. It reassesses whether attacking is still the optimal action based on current conditions. The key difference from finite state machines is how decisions are structured. Rather than jumping between predefined states, the behavior tree continuously evaluates conditions and selects appropriate actions based on a hierarchical decision process. This creates behavior that's not just responsive, but contextually appropriate to the evolving situation. Behavior trees solved many of the problems that plagued finite state machines. Subtrees could be reused across different character types, making development more efficient. NPCs could quickly re-evaluate priorities when circumstances changed. Developers could add new behaviors without disrupting existing ones. Complex behaviors could be broken down into manageable components. Characters could handle multiple concerns simultaneously. This revolution in AI design allowed NPCs to handle complex, open-world environments where players' actions couldn't always be predicted. The success of behavior trees in games influenced broader AI applications. Robotics, autonomous vehicles and even smart home systems have adopted variations of behavior trees for decision-making. Gaming once again proved to be a laboratory for AI innovation, pushing techniques that would eventually find applications in other industries. While behavior trees represented a massive leap forward, they weren't the end of NPC evolution. Modern games often combine behavior trees with other techniques. Utility AI systems that evaluate options based on numerical scores rather than binary success or failure. Goal-orientated action planning or GOP, which allows NPCs to create action sequences to achieve specific goals. Machine learning approaches that allow NPCs to adapt and improve their decision making over time. Behavior trees transformed NPCs from simple state machines to characters capable of complex adaptive decision making. They brought us memorable game moments where enemies felt intelligent, coordinated and reactive to our actions. As we continue to push the boundaries of virtual worlds, the quest for more believable NPCs continues. But behavior trees remain a foundational technology that transformed how we think about character AI in games. If you have not seen the previous videos on scripted NPCs and finite state machines, check them out to see the full progression of how our virtual companions evolved. Share your thoughts and experiences with behavior trees in the comments. See you in the next one.